Hello! <laughs> Did you just do that? <laughs> oh, hi there. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I did the turn. I'm trying to think of a way we could turn this so we both just... <laughs> hi! <laughs> uh, fuck it, we're keeping going. We're not starting again. Um, wait, yeah, talking point. Yeah, yeah, here for another one of them. And it's Christmas. It's Christmas. This is our last talking point of the year. I am even wearing a Christmassy jumper. Just. Yeah. Kind of. It's, it looks Christmassy <laughs> from a distance. That's for me. Yeah. Uh, last, last week's question was what are your aims and goals for next year yours was not to fuck up the wedding yep. mine was uh, although you technically forced that one on me I know I said something about losing weight and all the usual stereotypes oh well, yeah not, lo- not losing weight getting fit yeah losing weight would be a problem but getting <laughs> fit yeah it um, <laughs> yeah yours sorry carry on I can't remember what mine were my, oh mine were to improve the to improve the site and uh, improve the podcast oh, and yeah, get some totally more people on make a new website no, you're not. Uh. <laughs> Let's not bullshit here. You're not. Okay. You, I'll make do with you creating an intro and an outro <laughs> for the podcast. Okay. I think, yeah, leave that to me. <laughs> it's only two Photoshop images that you need to fucking create. <laughs> I thought it was video. Surely you need video. No, because I static image at the front and end. Oh, right. I only need an end slate and an intro. Cool. And a branding. It will be done. <laughs> Anyway, but on to everyone else. Everyone else. Uh, the first person that made a suggestion was Mosh Miller. Yeah. His, his aim was just to have fun and try not to end up on some wash, uh, watch list. Because he's very uh, into his politics know, and he's, he's very, very outspoken yeah. about his politics. And uh, I think I did reply yeah. to him once on Facebook about some kind of gun issue. Yeah. And I instantly thought I shouldn't have done that. I should not yeah. have done that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a no, nice guy. but his, his real plan is to make sure that he's in, keeps involved with the politics, gets off his, does what most people forget, <laughs> is actually, actually get off his ass and vote, yeah. because people complain about the the shit that's going on in politics and then don't do fuck all about it. Yeah. So uh, yes, go go vote everyone, not just Mosh, everyone. When did we turn into that kind of thing? I don't know. Go vote. Why not? Vote for me! Yeah. I'm not sure what I'm standing for. Oh, the UK porn filter thing. <laughs> what? That's changed. BT have it actually put in place now the porn filter. Have they? The almighty porn filter. Yeah. <laughs> Any new customer now will get a porn filter. This isn't even relevant. <laughs> but it's politics and stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> I knew it was coming, but I didn't think it... We'll never get it, because KC will never fucking sign up. <laughs> no, it's... um. Well, it's not. It's compulsory. It's not in place yet, but I think BT are just jumping the gun. I, again, we've had this discussion. In fact. <laughs> Everyone's calling. It's like China. It's like North Korea. It's nothing like either of those two things. Stop whining, you bunch of... You can opt out of it. Exactly. And <laughs> Can you imagine that in China? Yes, I'd like to opt out, please. <laughs> and anybody who signed up with a Vodafone uh, contract will know that if you want to access porn on your phone, yeah. you need to ask permission from Vodafone. Orange as well. They were the same. Yeah. You actually have to have a small amount put onto your bill so that you can give a card. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. So, so, <laughs> so on the Vodafone way of doing things, if you want porn, is you, pay- you, you can't do it instantly. Yeah. You have to get a code on your bill. So if, yeah, you're, yeah, if sorry, you're in yeah, a hotel if room I'm alone to remember one day and you want to call Vodafone... Yeah, well, I'm trying to remember what it was. You had to pay in a quid... To a thing into an account, and the last four <laughs> digits of the refund code for that pound, so you got your money back. Yeah, yeah. was that, the four digits that would I'm, be sent in to unlock it. I'm honestly just thinking of this from a point of view. This is how hotels get you to buy Wi Fi, and yeah. somebody's gone on the phone and gone, I've got to do what? <laughs> Fuck it, I'll pay the tenner. <laughs> yeah, but clearly that person's a retard because they've never heard of Imager. <laughs> Yeah. Or Reddit. It. Yeah, Reddit is kind of yeah. So let's move on and not taint ourselves and <laughs> our reputations. <laughs> I just that. find that ridiculous that you have to do that. For, yep. Yeah. Uh, Kelly, uh, work colleague of mine. He is. He is a video game. He is a gamer who went on to board games, then back to video games, and now back to board games. And he's getting really involved in a board game community at the minute. And. One of his aims for next year is to start up a board game YouTube channel and start giving a bit more of the background. He wants to come and join us and do a, a bit of a talk about some of the board game, 
some of the video games that have been converted into yeah, board yeah. games and vice versa. I was so amazed how much the board game kind of world is it's huge. Yeah. It's I, I massive. Because when you think board games, you think Monopoly. You think Kaplunk. You know, the, the, I realise there's no board in Kaplunk. <laughs> but the traditional games. And you realise yeah. there's, there's actually the adult whole, kind of yeah, board games that's gone beyond Warhammer, that. Starcraft, uh, Risk, I, yeah. Cards Against Humanity. Uh, well, that's, that's just a fun game. But there's Shadow, I, I love that Shadow Run. <laughs> Shadow Run's a... a board game uh, Dungeons and Dragons all the variations of that There's I've got a zombie one still sealed in box every time we get drunk we open it we read the rules and think this book's too thick <laughs> it back away. Yeah. Do you, I think you were there where, yeah. that one time I opened it, went, no. <laughs> <laughs> it maybe read the rules when you're sober and then tell us them when you're drunk it's like, it's just, if it's a Tuesday and there's a dog barking outside you must play the game backwards how do I play it forwards it's just uh, yeah I'll figure it out one day but yeah, he's going to start a new YouTube channel, and once he does, I will make sure everybody gets uh, a link to it because it's an interesting topic. If you if you into gaming, then the yeah. board games are also interesting. I, I I again, I have this game. I desperately want to play it, <laughs> but I have to get people drunk to actually be willing to play a board game because board games have that kind of yeah don't, don't, reputation, don't. don't they? And then by that point, you can't read, so <laughs> the rules are difficult. I'll tell you what. There's a, there's a YouTube channel called Blame Society. Uh, and they have beer and board games as a, a, a thing. Yeah. And what they do is they start playing the board games sober ah. and then just keep drinking as they go along. And they, by the end of the game, they are pissed. <laughs> we, should pro- nice. we could do that. Yeah. We should do that with actual games. <laughs> the last... <laughs> <laughs> Damn, too early for a segue. Yeah. Sorry, carry on. Uh, uh, Michelle, congratulations. That's two and a bit lines of text. Yeah, no, it's congratulations for the cause of the two, line, but two and a half oh, lines right. of text. Okay. Uh, she is expecting. So. Oh, congratulations. So she's, uh, she, her aim is to enjoy the next six months of uh, peace and quiet Yeah. Uh, before trying to work out how to be a mum. I, I don't... <laughs> the only worry I've got is I've seen her brain <laughs> I imagine if a child comes out with that brain, yep, that child is going to be either really annoying or an evil genius. I'm not quite sure which way it'll go. It's going to be Mojo Jojo, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I haven't watched that in years, and I get I hear the voice now every time. Oh, oh, Jojo, Jojo. Oh, Jojo. Right, um. Mike the bassist lose weight, and he's using um, the Xbox to do it. Oh. What? He's got fitness apps on the Xbox One, and he's been uh, using that to do, to track his exercise, make sure he does it, and that's... Oh, right, right. I was honestly, in my mind, he was running around the streets with an Xbox under his arm. <laughs> I was thinking, I understand it with an iPhone, you could take it with you, but... <laughs> Rugby practice, maybe? I, but yeah. connect sports and shit like that. It... Yeah. I, I realise it, it's practical. I was just being ridiculous. That was <laughs> the first place my mind went. Uh, Firehawk Shadow Child working less uh, losing weight and getting out more he doesn't want to have any goals in gaming because he plays too much anyway I hate people like that <laughs> oh, I play too many games <clears throat> fuck you right back over to Facebook um, where Dan Allen has also gone into the nostalgia <laughs> banks uh, with the answer the same thing we do every year try to take over the world <laughs> <laughs> <And like>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, Tim Hassel buy a house get promoted and uh, go to some more gigs also I, was, I think people are aiming low yeah also have a dedicated gaming uh, games music room that's more like it that's that should be everyone yeah should have a dedicated room for playing games I have it's my living room yeah I have <laughs> we're I in haven't. it <laughs> we're in it I haven't I have a TV which plays Don't Tell the Bride and there is a Playstation <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they're related or connected in any way. Um, Trevor wants to exercise more, summit a few mountains, wake up on time more for a change, <laughs> get back into carving. He carves things. Why not? In my mind, he's Chuck Norris now. He's going <laughs> to climb a mountain. <laughs> climb a mountain, carve something into the, side, into the shape of a beaver. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, wake, and then wave, an, uh, wave a Canadian flag around. And wake up on time. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit far-fetched, isn't it, really? <laughs> uh, and get through half of his Steam library. 
Yeah, that one definitely <laughs> far fetched. Right, we got Deborah. Uh, she wants to improve her health, basically get rid of the Lyme's disease that she's currently suffering from, huh. and basically, yeah, get rid. Of, that, get better. Where, where does she live? Uh, she's Dutch. Oh right, is that common? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll go along with that. Um, um, Alex going to teach. Yeah. Alex going to become a teacher. Yeah. Which means he probably won't be allowed on the podcast anymore. That's worrying, though, isn't it? Yeah. Alec teaching. It's, well, it's not. I imagine he'd be a great teacher, but I worry what he'd teach him. But, he, but, 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 but it also lim- it'll also limit his ability to come and join us on the podcast because his, his students won't be able... Then again, we'll make up <laughs> there a, are worse things seen by teachers. We'll just make up a, a name for him. A separate one. Not Alec Rossbauer. If only, if only he had a name that blended in. <laughs> yeah, okay. Alec hyphen Ross Bauer. I mean, come on. I, I, no, I bet there's no one else in the world called Alec Ross Bauer. I don't know. I've never looked I, it up. Uh, Mike old. Lockwood went with... His answer was to Alec. Because Alec said, those that can teach. And Mike Lockwood was, those that can't play more PlayStation. Yeah. And he wonders if there are any teaching simulators out there for him to play. To which and there is always one smart ass. Usually, no, no, no. <laughs> there's two of them because it's me. I immediately came up with one that is actually a training aid used by teachers to teach them how a class generally reacts in certain situations. And Alec came. And up with Alec came up with one that is more of a an actual game. Yeah, more of an act, more Some, of a game. Something that's meant to be enjoyable. Yeah, it's not quite farming simulator but it's close but it's kind of kind of a cross between game dev story and uh, a management sim why are they, why are these considered games they're not but they they they, they exist the games <laughs> the games where you if you break it down i know this is really bad i did it today i was playing playing grand theft auto and i was thinking to myself i've got all this money I don't really have to play it anymore. Yeah. And then it hits you. The only reason you're playing a game is to get virtual money. So you can buy a virtual car. When you get that car, you get bored. And you buy another virtual car. And then you get bored. And then you buy... There's actually no real... No. And that's why the uh, microtransactions exist, if you think about it. Because the people who just skip the tedious part of getting to the cars that they want. But then the the way I'm now, I've got everything I want and I don't want to play it. So somebody goes from, imagine, yeah. I've got everything I wanted, my dreams have come true. Oh, I think I'll go have a lie down. <laughs> <laughs> it just, I don't know, maybe somebody can help me with this. If you buy your way to the top of microtransactions, does it then suddenly become tedious and boring? Because you have no goals, you have nothing to aspire to, you are literally just... The only thing, but some of, some of the games, some of the racing games that have done it, it makes sense because you're buying the car so that you can get onto online play and just race, yeah. just get to the, the bit that I like about racing. I'm the kind of person who would, if I wasn't such a tight-fisted twat, <laughs> buy the buy my way directly into the cars. Yeah, Fair. it's only it's only my Yorkshire blood that stops me. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> yeah. too expensive. That's a pound. No, <laughs> not having a Veyron for a pound. Rip off. Yeah. Although, right, have you seen the, the Rovio karting game? I know that Rovio are making a karting game. I haven't seen oh, anything Oh, it's it. getting slammed. Is I'll it? save this one for the podcast, but yeah. It's, <laughs> there you go. You've got to come watch the podcast now. It's over here, apparently. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, um, yeah, it's on that screen. Um, so, <laughs> um, we have we have an, a, an actual thing to go to. Yes, we have a topic that we want. We have a question that we want you to answer. Now, in the new year, we're going to start doing some videos of us act- actually, actually playing, playing games. games drunk. If you if you followed the YouTube channel, you will have seen us play Surgeon Simulator drunk. Yeah, and, we'll and you will have- not to be quite as we'll condense it. Yeah, because I think I think I, we sat there for like an hour doing one surgery. <laughs> Which well, is no, the no, because we because we got it. Right, I got it right the second time round because the second time round was when we played Hearthstone drunk. Oh, that was the one that was where two and a bit hours long, and I cut it into chunks. So that's how we'll do it. We'll be playing a decent lo- chunk of a game drunk, <laughs> oh dear. and then I'll release it in in segments, and. Yeah. 
what we want is your suggestions as to what games we should play. More importantly, what I think we need to do is we need to have a basic level of drunkenness. Yeah. This is it's got to be starting a, level. It's got to be a Friday night thing. This. Yeah. A, a starting tier a drunk. Bit, yeah. <laughs> starting drunk, and then we've made a drinking game drunk. Yes. Because I think whatever game they suggest, we should make a drinking game. Yeah. And do it. Yeah. Because then we wouldn't last two hours. <laughs> <laughs> so we literally couldn't have something we have to split up into 20,000 chunks. Well, no, I want to split oh, it up. Oh, well, there to might d- be chunks. It, need, it, ne- <laughs> <laughs> it, needs to be, it needs to be played long enough. I mean, yeah. Because I want to scatter it. All right. Because we're, we're not, di- <laughs> not going to be releasing them all in one week. It'll be spread out so that people don't get... I mean, it's, down in it's it. not brain surgery, is it? And we've proven we can't do that. No. <laughs> so Surgeon Simulator will probably make another appearance. It's got to make another appearance. Yeah, but for every every major nick, I think there needs to be a drink. Because that would be... if you. <laughs> what would be the punishment if you uh, accidentally prick yourself on the syringe? Because that's bad enough as it is. The entire screen goes yellow, green, I don't, I purple, don't know. Okay. We'd have to think of rules beforehand. Yeah, and... we, need, we need drinking games. <laughs> but... Um, but we need to Pick know game. which ga- what games would you like us to play Wait, through. This it is does all it. well and good, but what if we don't have the game? Then one of us will have to require it. All right. <laughs> it, it, we, we've got a pretty full Steam account. A Steam game. Pick a Steam game. Then we're yeah. fairly safe. We can probably get it cheap, maybe. But we've got... There's things like Audio Surf, and if you... Or Beat Hazard that uh, we yes. recently discovered, thanks to Trevor. Thank you. Um, thanks, Trev. They're, they're games that are based on... On music, so you can even suggest the music as long as you use uh, open source. Yeah, something we're allowed creative to use. Comments. So YouTube don't. Yeah, so that YouTube don't slap us like uh, everyone else in the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, pick a game, maybe a song as well if it's an audio game, yeah. and we'll play it, drink, yeah. and embarrass ourselves some more. It, does, it doesn't more even have this. <laughs> it doesn't even have to be a short game because I could, I could foresee us just drunkenly playing our way through over a few uh, over a few sessions, something like. Bioshock Infinite. I still I want to play it drunkenly Call of Duty from start to finish. I mean, I'm not sure my liver can handle it. See, I, I, I'd, it, I'd be up for that. I, you'd have to start Modern Warfare because the yeah. others don't really follow on. But have I've, you got them? I've got Modern Warfare two. I think I've got one, and I can get three. So yeah, I can actually. Yeah. Well, well let's. You wouldn't get past the first freaking hurdle. Can it be played co-op? Yes, but yes. if you shoot the general yes. in the face, the game is over. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're definitely doing that. No, no, you can't. Story cop. No, you can't. Sorry. Oh, we'll just have to take it in turns. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> so basically, it'd be like literally the progression through the story would be like this much, this much, this much, <laughs> this much, this much. General. <laughs> general, 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 general. This much. <laughs> you just keep shooting him in the face repeatedly. Right. Yeah, but that sounds like fun to me. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> The thing is, if you stream it, people are just going, what the fuck is he doing? He's just <laughs> shooting this guy in the face and restarting every five minutes. Yep. <sighs> See, we yeah. should do MMO gameplay. Can you imagine me at an MMO? What, what, well, let's, what uh, does this button do? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's, enough, there's enough things. I mean, MMOs are, are an option, to a degree. Starcraft. Starcraft? <laughs> that would be a short video, wouldn't it? <laughs> ah, and I'm dead. <laughs> what? How? Damn you, Zerg. I'd, I've never StarCraft online. Because no. it, it, won't, it won't just be in you. Because they don't realise it yet, but Alec and uh, Craig are involved in this. They, are they? Yeah. That, awesome. I'm telling them now. You're in. Cool. At some point. <laughs> but Craig can't play computer games. <laughs> <laughs> no, he can when he's drunk. Oh. He, get, he, he gets better. <laughs> We can get Mike in for a game of FIFA. Mike is Mike for FIFA. That that would be funny, <laughs> because last time he played FIFA, Goldschlager was involved. And <laughs> Although recording yeah, FIFA might be a bit difficult yeah. with hardware, but <laughs> it'll be low tech <laughs> iPhone pointed. At <laughs> but yeah, games. Yeah, list. Give us some suggestions of games we Isn't should that, play drunk. If if you can't pick a specific game, narrow it down pick to a series or a genre. A series, or yeah, series or genre. That works for me. And we'll try and record something and probably get drunk. Well, they'll we'll be drunk and they'll be uh, they'll be us insulting each other. No doubt. I don't know what you mean. I'm well mannered when I'm drunk. On that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go. Yeah. 
Come back for the podcast. Yeah, have a good Christmas. Oh, yeah. See you in the new year. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. It's Kwanzaa as well, isn't they? Futurama taught me that one yeah. thing. Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. Hanukkah's already been, hasn't it? Yeah, that's been and gone. That moves, apparently. Yeah, I didn't know <laughs> that it moved. <laughs> really ignorant of me, but yeah, it moves, apparently. Yeah. Something to do with... Yeah. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> If you're watching this, you probably just finished watching either our Talking Point or Drinky Talky Thingy videos on uh, for this week. There would be a nice outro sequence that had both of us in it. And there was one recorded. I've accidentally deleted it from my hard drive. So this is a very short one. It will be replaced next week. If you liked uh, the video, then please hit that like button down below. It's uh, It doesn't bother me whether you do or don't, but YouTube seems to like it. It apparently is part of their algorithm that lets people see this video that uh, don't normally. Also, if you aren't already subscribed, chances are you already are, then also hit that subscribe button. It would be great to think people actually like us, but we do this anyway, whether you like us or not. If you want to contact us, then obviously there's the comments below. There is uh, Facebook, which you can get to via our live shortcut, 8bitalliance.com forward slash Facebook. Um, you're on the YouTube channel, probably, but if you're not, it's 8bitalliance.com forward slash YouTube. Um, Twitter, we've got at Drunken Gamer, which is me, at D underscore Gal, which is Gal. And at 8-Bit Alliance, which is the podcast feed itself, which effectively is just me. <laughs> so, you can tweet that one, but you're just as easy tweeting me. Other than that, we'll be back with the next episode shortly. And um, until then, please consider looking at these videos over here. If I've done this outro right, there should be videos there. If not, then just ignore my waving finger. It just makes me look silly. <laughs>